Only school in the country that uses painful electric shocks on its disabled students may have found a way around a proposed ban of the devices that administer the shocks. Five investigators has been following this controversial issue for years. Our Mike Bodette is here with the latest twist on this ongoing saga, Mike. Ed, the state of Massachusetts has tried and failed repeatedly to stop the Judge Rotenberg Center in Canton from shocking its students with electricity. Advocates thought they finally found a way to put an end to the practice through the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. But some behind the scenes maneuvering on Capitol Hill has created a loophole that could allow the JRC to keep doing what it's been doing for decades. This is a loophole that will benefit the Judge Rotenberg Center. Oh, for sure. Nancy Weiss is frustrated, but not surprised at what's going on behind the scenes in Congress. She's an advisor to the National Leadership Consortium on Developmental Disabilities. And for more than a decade, she's pushed the FDA to ban the devices that administer electric shocks to students at the Judge Rotenberg Center in Canton. <laughs> The agency first tried but failed to ban the devices in 2020. Earlier this year, the FDA announced it was trying to ban them again. But now a U.S. House subcommittee added language to a bill that makes an exception to the ban if the devices are authorized by a court. The Judge Rotenberg Center has the court approve every use. By putting this language in, they're exposing people with disabilities to incredibly painful fall on the floor screaming in agony shocks. The vote split on party lines with all Republicans supporting the JRC loophole. The Republican chairman of the subcommittee telling five investigates, in certain cases, this device has been found to be the only treatment to effectively prevent self-harm and to use or not to use the treatment should be a decision made between the patient's family, their doctor, and the judge reviewing their individual case. Democrats disagreed. The majority continues to load up appropriations bills with harmful policy riders. One rider is particularly barbaric. A provision in this bill would prevent the FDA from stopping the use of an inhumane electrical shock device. How did that language get in there? We don't know for sure. Um, I suspect um, the Judge Rotenberg Center's lobbyists uh, encourage the language to be put in. In a statement, the Judge Rotenberg Center is applauding the move, saying the language introduced by Congress would address a provision in a bill from two years ago that allowed the FDA to interfere with the practice of medicine by banning medical devices for specific uses, including those used in the life-saving treatments at JRC. Is the Rotenberg Center unstoppable? I hope not. Weiss says advocates are not giving up. They are trying to get the loophole language removed when it goes to the full committee next month. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.